When it comes to routine drug testing, easier is better. Using oral fluid instead of urine is convenient and non-invasive, and it reduces the likelihood of a donor challenge later on, because donors collect and seal their own samples in the presence of a monitor. And now, Quest Diagnostics makes the process easier than ever with our innovative OralEase oral fluid collection system. With OralEase, getting confidential lab-based drug test results is efficient, simple, and reliable, just the way it should be. How is OralEase different from other oral fluid collection systems? First, you don't have to guess about when you have collected enough sample. The OralEase collection system has a built-in indicator window that turns blue when the oral fluid sample is adequate and collection is complete. It not only provides peace of mind, it also reduces the chance that the sample will be invalidated and you'll have to recollect. Second, there's no salty or citric taste. Older oral collection methods have a salty or citric taste, but Oralese doesn't, making the process that much more comfortable for the donor. Finally, you'll get Oralese test results as fast as ever. Negative screening results are reported the same day the specimens arrive at the Quest Diagnostics testing facility. Positive results are confirmed, reviewed, and typically reported within 72 hours. These innovations make Oralese one of the easiest solutions yet for oral fluid collection. What's more, Oralese tests for a broad range of substances. And the process? It's a snap. Here's how it works. After the collector positively identifies the donor and explains the testing procedures, she ensures that the donor's mouth is empty of any gum, food, or tobacco, and that they have not had anything to eat or drink for at least 10 minutes prior to the collection. The donor then selects an Oralese oral fluid collection system, and the collector inspects the packaging to check the expiration date and verify there is no sign of moisture or leakage and that the sample adequacy window is not blue. The collector peels open the package just far enough for easy removal of the handle of the oral fluid collector. The collector instructs the donor to use the handle to remove the device from the package, taking care to not touch the collection pad. If the collection pad is touched or comes in contact with anything other than the donor's mouth, it should be considered contaminated and should not be used for the test. The contaminated device should be discarded and replaced with a new Oral Ease oral fluid collection system. The collector tells the donor to place the Oral Ease oral fluid collector into their mouth with the collection pad between the lower cheek and gum. The plastic shield should face the cheek and the sample adequacy window should face toward the center of the donor's mouth. The collector starts a 10-minute timer. Once the sample adequacy window turns blue or after waiting no more than 10 minutes, the collector has the donor remove the oral fluid collector from their mouth. The collector removes the collection tube from the package and hands it to the donor instructing the donor to hold the tube upright, flip open the lid, and guide the pad into the opened tube. With the pad in the oral fluid collection tube, the collector instructs the donor to place their thumb on the ridges of the oral fluid collector handle and slide the handle forward to detach the pad from the handle and into the tube. Next, the collector instructs the donor to replace the lid on the collection tube and cap tightly. At this point, the collector completes the applicable chain of custody procedures. Properly completing the chain of custody process will help ensure that the sample collected can be tested once it arrives at the laboratory. Simply follow the five steps outlined on the custody and control form. Prior to the specimen collection, the collector should have verified the donor's information and recorded that information in step one. It is important not to forget to indicate the reason for the test, to enter the collection site and enter the collector's information. The laboratory may need this to contact the collector with any questions about the specimen. In step two on the form, the collector indicates whether the lab should expect a split or single specimen to accompany this custody and control form. In step three, after the oral fluid specimen is collected, the collector removes the tamper evidence seal from the custody and control form and places the circle which reads place over cap across the top of the specimen tube and down the sides, making sure the seal adheres tightly to the tube. Once sealed, the collector dates the seal and the donor must initial it. The donor is instructed to complete step five by signing and printing their name. The collector then completes step four by both signing and printing their name.
Now that the form is complete, the collector removes the perforations along either side of the document. The donor receives copy 5, and the top copy, copy 1, is packaged by the collector with the oral fluid specimen and shipped to the laboratory. The collection site distributes copies 2 through 4 as appropriate. To prepare the specimen for transportation to the laboratory, the collector folds the laboratory's copy, copy 1 of the custody and control form, so that the barcode and employer information is above the fold and the donor's personal information is below the fold. Next, the collector folds the form in half and then slides the folded paperwork into the larger back pocket of the specimen transportation bag. The barcode needs to face out so it's visible once the bag is closed. Next, the sealed tube containing the sample is slid into the smaller front pocket of the bag. At this point, the collector should expose the adhesive and seal the bag tightly along the striped black line. Once the custody and control form and specimen have been sealed in the specimen transportation bag by the collector, the specimen is ready to be shipped to the testing laboratory. Only one specimen and custody and control form should be sealed in each specimen transportation bag, unless a split specimen is being collected. However, numerous transportation bags can be bundled into a single shipping container. After processing the specimen, Quest Diagnostics will report the results to the employer or medical review officer. Oral Ease – No more guesswork with the blue indicator window. No more salty or citric taste. And easy to use. Routine drug testing just got a lot easier with Oral Ease and its blue indicator window from Quest Diagnostics. And easier is better for everyone.